Friday, 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 Friday. I was waiting, I'll wait for that. It's Friday and that's a fact. It's Friday fact, yeah! A new fact every Friday. When you need to perform a schema validation in runtime while using the trigger, when a HTTP request is received, Logic Apps gift us the possibility to perform that validation recurring to a setting existing in said trigger. In this example, we are generating a schema and making required the field, location, and next we access the trigger settings, and we turn on the schema validation. Next using Postman, if we send a request, and since we have nothing more configured more than the schema validation, nothing will happen, the message enters the Logic app and a run occurs. But since we configured that is required for the input to have the location, see what happens when we take it out of the context. An error message shows us that a property is missing from the object and its name is location. Here we have done a schema validation. But in contrast with the trigger when a HTTP request is received, that can perform a schema validation while the logic app execute, the response connector unfortunately do not do the same. Which is strange taking into consideration that a parameter known as response body JSON schema can be added to generate a schema in said connector. So here we did exactly that, we use another JSON to generate a new schema. Here we stated that our required field is the property age, and one would think that using required fields will condition the response that will be sent to the caller, but unfortunately that does not happen. As you can see, if we send our message the output is the same as the input, and that repeats true even when we delete the required property we had in our schema. But fortunately, there is a workaround that consists of using an expression to check if the output of our chosen connector contains the fields we specified. If that turns out to be true, the message will be sent in full but if the message does not contain the properties we defined on our expression, we will be notified of that. That will work for all the properties we have defined in our expression, creating this way a validation on the response. On the other hand, if you still want to receive the output, but with the error message following it, you can use this other expression that will help achieve just that. Here as you can see that you still receive the fields that are conform with our expression, minus the one we remove, with an error message indicating that. Now, of course we should only use this in specific cases where this applies. For example, let's say you have made a call to an API service, and the response should always be the same, or some of those fields should always be present in the output, and let's say that the call failed and did not retrieve the usual data and is lacking vital information. You can use this workaround to make a schema validation on the response. With only two actions and an expression we can achieve awesome things. See you next Friday for another Friday Fact.